We have another bluebird day here in San Francisco as we are embarking on an adventure closer to the waterfront on the bay uh, near the Embarcadero. Where are we going today, Zeke? We're starting with Coit Tower and then we're gonna go to the Exploratorium. But first, we're going to Levi Plaza with a park that is in the middle of San Francisco that not a lot of people know about and it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see it. Let's go. Let's go. Levi Plaza is one of those interesting green spaces that is right off the Embarcadero. Originally designed in 1982 by Lawrence Halprin. Uh, they wanted to reinvest here and he designed it with Levi's in mind. A lot of granite, a lot of trees, and the running water as you'd find in the Sierras, aka the Gold Rush. <laughs> Headed next is up to the Coit Tower. Keyword being up. Up, yeah. We are going to go up Telegraph Hill, up the Filbert Steps. Uh, Filbert Steps tend to be pretty popular. I think it's also where the uh, Telegraph Hill parrots are. What I find really interesting is the history of Coit Tower. Lily Hitchcock Coit, who was an admirer of the San Francisco Fire Department, she left a significant portion of her estate to beautify San Francisco. And one of the bequests was specifically a monument to the firefighters. So it's 234 steps to the top of Coit Tower, which is about 13 flights. $10 a person, and then up at the top you have a panoramic view of San Francisco. And on a 72 degree Fahrenheit day, Carl the Fog is very welcome. Inside, there are murals depicting various aspects of life in California during the Great Depression. And apparently that was controversial and it was shut down for a period of time before it was reopened.
Embarcadero is, it can be a gorgeous place to be. There are cyclists, there are runners, there are walkers, there are people pushing strollers. And then of course you have the beautiful bay right behind us. And if you're looking for a restaurant, there are two places that I would highly recommend. One of them is Coqueta, which can be a little bit expensive, but it's really good and has great cocktails and yummy food. And the other is where we had dinner tonight, which is called Lamar. And the good news is that the Trace Leches cake lived up to the memory from, what, five, six years ago. Tonight is Thursday and they do an after dark for 18 and over. So no kids, which means we get to be kids and not, to ha not have to push kids off of the things that we want to do. There are six main galleries, uh, each of them focused on different areas of exploration. Human phenomenon, tinkering, seeing and reflections, living systems, outdoor exhibits, and observing landscapes. fun this time as it was the last time that we did it even though you don't remember the last time that we did it. I like the interactive ones. There were a lot of partner ones where you and I got to do it. Um, it took us a long time to do the uh, uh, designing and listening one to be able to put that together. You know my favorite one was when I called on the phone and the guy <laughs> answered on the other side. I gave him the combination and the combination opened a door that had a camera that showed him and me together. Unfortunately I was so engaged in the whole thing I didn't realize my camera wasn't looking at the screen but then later you and I did it yeah, but I didn't have enough hands so you got the better video I did the other thing that I really liked was the drop of water thing where you put your face down there and then you got captured in the photos with us uh, making uh, funny faces I thought that was kind of fun this was I a wasn't making a funny face it was just your normal face yeah normal face. <laughs> One of the things that we were talking about at dinner was just how much is available to us in San Francisco. Yeah, and we now have an even longer list for our deeper dive into San Francisco. So look for more coming up soon. More nuts and crannies. <laughs>